All right, so we're joined with Mr. Rudolf Speed. Firstly, Mr. Speed, how has the last few days have been with this coaching education course? Well, it's the last two weeks because we had a B license last week and then this week from Monday to today, we have a coaching education course done by FIFA. The head of FIFA is, of the coaching department of FIFA is here, um, Grand Cup. And um, it has just been a lot of good um, experiences, rapport with the other members of the Caribbean and there's a lot of learning has taken place. Yes, quite a number of Jamaicans involved in this, you know, what is the feedback you're getting from, you know, those involved in the in the setup the last well, very year? positive. We have seven Jamaicans involved, um, with other members from across the Caribbean. Very positive. We're trying to make sure that we standardize the whole learning process in the Caribbean. So if you get a sea license in Jamaica it is good anywhere else everywhere else in, in Kankakaf, so that is what we're working on here. Yeah. And for you personally, you know, how much do you think this enriches you in knowledge to help not only a country but also club wise as well? Well first it helps the country a lot because um, normally with one of these courses we have to get experts from overseas, put them up in the best hotel, ear fear, everything, it costs a lot. So they we have to charge with in other not to operate it unless we have to charge the coaches. So now we are the ones who will be able to do it. So you can see, you'll see price differences right away. So that is positive for the, co the aspiring coaches. But um, for us, um, it's just a wonderful achievement. We have about 3,000 persons coaching in Jamaica as we speak. We only have about 120 sea license coaches. So it's a difficult slug. So now that we know about 10 or 11 coaches who can teach a sea license, it should be easier and um, before the end of this year we'll be starting four courses simultaneously because we now have the amount of people required to coach courses. And finally for you to tick off another box in terms of accreditation and you know gaining the experience what does this mean for you personally as well? Well what it means for the country I mean you know for a long while we had the highest qualified person was a C license or equivalent of a C license um, about 12 of us has attempted the A license yeah, I have finished first. So what I tried to do was to lead the way, not to send people to say it can be done. I really tried to make sure that it was done. So that is one of the, was one of my motivations to go there fast and first and get it done. So I'm sure in the future now a lot of other coaches will be able to do it because um, it's achievable.